Hey everybody, welcome back to another Dice Throne video. In this one I'm going to be showing off the 3.0 release of the mod. We uh, added odds calculation to all of your skills and abilities. I'll go over that in a bit more detail as to what that means, but it's pretty cool. It's going to show you your chances of getting your ultimate or getting your large straight so you know if it's worth trying or not. There's a little bit of setup that you're going to need to do. You're going to need to download um, some files from GitHub, and you're going to need 7-zip. So I'm going to step through that now. Um, so you're going to need to go to GitHub. You're going to need to download this odds calculator. This is compressed with 7-zip, so you're going to need 7-zip if you don't already have it. I'm going to bet most of you are Windows, and most of you are going to be a 64-bit operating system in 2023, so download this first link, install this, and then you will be able to um, manipulate this archive. So once you have both those files downloaded, make a folder. It doesn't matter where you make it. Put it on your desktop. Put it, you know, anywhere you want. It doesn't matter. Um, so let's see. We need... The windows let me close edge so it's not so much in the way um my windows look a little funky because i tried to crop them and it it ended up looking weird but my folder on the left is called uh, dta odds and then on the right is just my downloads um where i downloaded the files so you need the odds calculator so from your downloads you are going to find the file that you just downloaded, which is the odds calculator file dot uh, 7z. Um, you want to right click that and it's not recording my right clicks, but go to 7zip, click on open archive and it's going to open a window that I have underneath there. Um, and you can just highlight all these files and you can you can use the extract, you can do file extract, but it's easiest just to click and drag them. So click them, drag them over. I'm gonna place them in my DTA uh, odds folder. And it's gonna think for a minute. And there's the files. So we are done with that. We are done with downloads. All right. Now from the odds, odds folder, you need to click on Dice Throne Simulator.exe, and your Windows firewall is going to yell at you. Um, you need to say allow. You need to uh, put an exception in. Um, the The whole thing is there. It's open source. If you are worried about um, about any funny business, you are more than welcome to read through the uh, the code. Uh, this thing is fine. It's not going to do anything malicious. Um, it's just going to listen. That's what it's doing here. It's listening on port 8080 for um, things from the game. So now the odds calculator is running. So now we're going to jump back over to um, Tabletop Simulator. OK, uh, back over in Tabletop Simulator. Um, I did leave the debugger running. Um, you can see it over there um, in the uh, top right of my screen here. Um, I was messing around with it just a little bit before I started this recording, so there is some debug information, but just so you can see what it's doing, um, that's we'll just let, leave that there. So I've loaded up a portal crawl, spawned out a monster, I've selected Black Widow as my hero, and I would just like to walk through some of the, some, some example turns with the odds calculator on. So let's go ahead and start a turn, we'll do our income phase, and we're going to start the offensive roll. And very quickly, let's go over these buttons, first of all. You have three reroll attempts, that's normal. Currently we have no cards in our hand that grant us rerolls. Um, uh, it's not twice as wild, it's... Um, actually, let's grab it, I can't remember the card name. I'm gonna search through the deck here and I'm gonna grab... Let's not tip it. It's try, try again. So let me grab out try, try again here. And we'll draw this card um, on our next turn to illustrate some other things. I'm just gonna place it on top of the deck so it comes to our hand. I could also just take it, but it won't update things here, so we'll look at that next. Um, but Try Try Again is going to give us re-rolls. That's a, uh, an example of a card that will. 
Use CP is going to be set to your maximum current CP. Used cards is going to be equal to the number of current cards in your hand, the maximum, that uh, you have that can manipulate dice. So that is twice as wild and six it in our case. Um, and calculate odds is going to calculate the odds of you hitting all these skills. Currently, we have not rolled the dice. I'm going to hit the calculate odds button just so you see um, how this works. We have a guaranteed chance to hit uh, all three tiers of baton strike. We have widow's gauntlets. We have everything. And that is the case because of our cards. Um, obviously, we don't have all batons showing, but this says, well, you have it. You have a 100% chance. And that is because I'm. It, it's saying, let's use two cards and three CP to maximize our odds. What you can do, if you don't want to use two cards, let's, let's say we only want to use one card. Cal recalculate. That was a bad example because we can get there with one. Let's, let's use no cards. Okay, so we have less odds now, you see. Um, another way that you can manipulate things is if you flip one of the cards in your hand that you don't want to be considered, um, this will still say two, but um, we'll flip this card and we'll recalculate the odds. Uh, let's see, did that make a difference? It does. Okay, so let's take a look at grapple here. We have an 88% chance of, of hitting grapple with these unrolled dice, which is completely irrelevant. I'm just showing off some, some features here. And that's because we have six it and twice as wild available. If I were to flip twice as wild, now only six it is showing and I recalculate the odds. I've only got a 50% chance of hitting grapple because I'm saying I only want you to consider six it in the calculations. So keep that in mind. Another thing to keep in mind, which I forgot to mention at the start of this, is only one player needs to be running um, the calculator, uh, the host preferably. I think it has to be the host actually, so let me say it that way. The host needs to be running the odds calculator, and it will function for everyone playing in, in this instance of the mod. So if you want to play heads up competitive or you're doing um, a cooperative portal crawl, everybody will get the odds calculator with just one instance of it running. So let's go ahead and start uh, this offensive roll phase. So we will roll these dice. Okay, let's take a peek at our odds and this will auto update. And again, let's let's flip some cards over and let's recalculate. Um, so we have, we have chances here. So Widow's Gauntlets, it says we have a 75% chance of getting there. And I'm gonna show this without having these dice manipulation cards first. So, it's pretty obvious we're just gonna need to reroll this one. Um, and if you don't know what to reroll, let's say you know, you're know you looking at, you're hacked here, you're just like, okay, I have a 41% chance, but which dice do I reroll? And again, it's kind of obvious, but let's, let's say you didn't know. Let's say these dice were a little bit more skewed. All you need to do is click on the number of uh, the percentage here. So let's give it a click. Hacked actually wants us to reroll everything um, for our small straight. Um, I presume because nothing is, um, we don't have a one or a two or a three, everything's a bit disjointed and you don't want to go for the, um, the end of the straight, you want a middle, middling straight, you know, at, uh, two, three, four, that way five or one gets you there. Um, but let's, um, actually, so let's, we can go for that. Let's, let's proceed with hacked. So let's go ahead and give those a roll. So we have a 40% chance currently of getting hacked. All right, we're up to a 55% chance. Now let's say, you know what? Oops, I want you to consider the cards. Now, we're guaranteed it because um, that's on a five. All right, so we've got uh, three, four, five. All we need to do is get a two or a six. Um, so we have very easily can just, you know, change we could six a dice, or we could change the value of any two. Six, it would be better in that scenario, just to, because you only need to change the one die to get there. If you wanted the large straight, though, we also have that available because of twice as wild. And if I were to flip that, that 100% chance is going to go away, down to a 30. So that is, again, how the flipping works in, in 
in the calculation. So we'll leave we'll leave that flipped and we'll go ahead and we'll just use our six it just for the sake of it. Go ahead and take away a CP. Um, we'll six that dice and then just calculate the odds and well you don't even have to. You know you have a straight here. Three, four, five, six. So we would use hacked in this instance. Um, and that, that'll be that. So let's end the turn, start a new turn, do our income phase and start our offensive roll. And again, I stack the deck so I would get try try again. When you have a card that allows dice to be re-rolled, um, the mod is going to default to off with those. If you want to have try try again considered in your reroll attempts you need to click this button now it's going to automatically subtract whatever the cp cost of the dice manipulation card is from your available so i have three but this says two because i'm saying i'd like to have try try again be considered so um you know reserve that cp for me um so let's let's step through this example here so we'll give these a roll all right, that's a three. Um, what do we have? Infiltrate. Let's let's flip this card and we'll recalc. What's low? All right, let's let's go for the large straight here with vengeance. So again, um, I'm not sure which dice I need to re-roll because I'm new to the game. So let's give that a click. It wants these two to be re-rolled. Let's do that. And we're, we're worse off than we were. So at this point, you could abandon ship and say, okay, I'm 38% chance. It's not looking good, but hacked over here, got an 80% chance all of a sudden. Um, which is, is it, which is silly actually, because they're both straights. I, I didn't think before I spoke, but you have a better shot at hacked. Vengeance is probably going to want us to reroll the same two die. So, um, your, your odds are now better to hit one of these two die in your favor than both so it doesn't matter which of these we click um, and we did hit we did hit hacked we have a 58 55 percent chance of getting vengeance and that is going to be due to the fact that we have try try again here so if we were to use try try again let's go ahead and do it and spend the CP for it we're now allowed to reroll um, one dice twice which is going to be that die so we have a 55 percent chance unfortunate and we have a one and three now. And it wants to roll that one. That's maybe our lucky die. It was not. We still have hacked. So in this turn, um, you could use hacked. You could use your baton strike here um, and, and do that damage. And that is basically how the thing works. Um, I believe that covers just about every scenario you may run into. This is a new feature. Um, we expect bugs. We also are considering what we probably will add a button that hides this if you don't want to play with the odds calculator because these are going to show up whether or not this is running. They just won't do anything if you don't have the uh, the application running in the background. So uh, probably going to add a button to hide this and any bugs that you, the community, find. You know just let me know, leave a comment on this video. Um, you can reach, to, reach out to me on Discord. Um, I may need your save file, I may ask for that. But give us some feedback, let us know. Do you think this is a good addition? How does it work for you? Anything you'd like to see changed, moved around? And uh, if you've made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing, liking the video. I'm personally trying to get this channel to 1,000 subscribers. It's much harder than I thought it would be. So every single one of you that clicks the button definitely helps me out. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.